Hi guys, this is Marek from Tripsolo. Today I would like to show you a game called Shadows of Kilford. It was um, designed by Tristan Hall and published by Hall or Nothing Productions. So let's open the box. Ah, okay, it's a fantasy quest game for one to four players. Here we have a net for other games from Hall or Nothing Productions. Here we have the rule book. It's really well written. You have a lot of examples, a lot of descriptions, uh, everything that you might need in this game um, you will find inside. There is a lot of text, but there are really a lot of good uh, examples um, for different actions. You have the index on the back. It's a well written rule book. Mm, here we have the a reference guide uh, when you read the manual and you know how to play the game you can leave just this on the table and it contains everything you might need in your game so the setup the game flow all the actions um, everything so it's really helpful and here we have the different uh, variants for the game like this is for gloom of kill for the veteran heroes for people who played the previous game Night token variant, uh, reward token variant, and difficulty settings. So here are different possibilities how you can alter the base game. And now we have the most important part of the game, <laughs> the element. So let's start with the loot bag. Uh, this is a bag where you draw loot in the game from where, and you have different uh, tokens. Some are helpful, like potion, uh, some might be less helpful. So this is always a surprise uh, what you will find inside this bag. Uh, here we have uh, the dice. And they are nice, big marble dice. Six of them. Mm, here we have the standees for every Every class in the game you have a different standee with different different picture. It's a thick cardboard, really really nice. So let's take a look. Yeah, really cool. Here we have all the wooden tokens. I will not take them out. You have coins and health and all the different things you might need in your adventures. A lot of them. Nice wooden, not cardboard ones. Cool. Mm, here you have some uh, markers and tokens for your, uh, for your player. You have four different colors. And uh, this is first hero marker. You will need them in your game to uh, mark some enemies on the map and every player gets his own set these are the tokens you might need if you want to randomize the game even more uh, like uh, in the variant uh, sheet I uh, I show you before and uh, you have uh, instruction how to do it so you can make the game even more random for you to play so it doesn't get boring in the future and now the most important part the cards here you have the dividers <coughs> you have a lot of them these are the spare ones for shadows of killford you even have some dividers for groom of killford the previous game in the series yeah they are really helpful they they are useful to keep all the cards separate and in order and now the cards the cards are the best part of this game because they are really really nice graphics and Shadows of Killford is more like an oriental uh, design like Far East style and the Gloom of Killford the previous game was more like uh, traditional European medieval uh, theme. 
theme uh, here are all the classes like monk and bushy ninja samurai <laughs> yakuza so you see the far east vibe on these cards and here you have classes and here you have the races you combine a class with a race and you have your character spirit walker watcher shape shape changer and the race cards are double sided so you have male male side and female side now this is class card okay so you see the design is really really cool and then we have uh, the sagas the sagas are the adventures you have to like your quest or adventure you have to finish in order to fight the big uh, boss enemy every saga has four chapters and they require you to do different things and in the end you get the reward so you have a lot of sagas for you you can pick one randomly when you start the game or you can choose one it's up to you so you have a lot a lot of them in the game mm. here we have the ancients and uh, they are the big boss enemies that you have to uh, defeat in order to win the game every ancient has some uh, plot card when, that he puts on the map that uh, make your life harder <laughs> and then you have the abilities for every ancient they all behave a little differently they have different uh, different uh, health and different uh, fight abilities so there are four of them in the game now we have uh, the locations and the great thing about shadows and gloom of killford is that you don't get a board um, for the game you you create the you create the map uh, with these cards you have 25 cards so you create a grid of five uh, times five and uh, you do it randomly so every time you play the game uh, the map looks a little different and uh, all the locations uh, are this are this is the normal state of the locations and then they fall to gloom so every night and if you don't defeat the, the ancient one before the lens falls to gloom you are defeated okay next we have the night cards you draw one card, one night card every every night, every round of the game, and it says uh, which uh, location falls into gloom. And you have some random events on these cards, like weather cards, sometimes some enemies or some strangers you can meet on your adventures. Then we have the locations and the encounters the game is divided into uh, four areas like you have forest uh, you have badlands you have uh, the mountain area and you have the, what, the final one plains and here you can find the enemies some strangers treasures and locations that you must encounter on your adventures the design is really really cool and the last part of cards are the titles some allies spells and items so things that will help you on your quest i hope you like this game it's really really cool I love it. Shadows of Killfort and Gloom of Killfort. If you like card games, fantasy card games, these are great for you. Thanks, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>